I knew all along um, that I was going to have the worst version of this that's ever going to be in someone. I knew that it's only going to get better from here on out. And if anything, that's what caused me pause most before the surgery was, do I really want to do this? Or should I let someone else go first and then I'll get a better version later on? Um, and I thought a lot about it. Um, I talked with my buddy about it, the one who called me on the phone. Um, I talked, you know, so much uh, with other people about if they thought I should do it. I talked with my parents and I just thought lots of introspection. Um, and again, it just came down to if anything goes wrong, I would rather it go wrong to me so that way people don't have to go through you know, any of the heartache. I keep calling it headache and heartache that I've gone through. <laughs> Before you quite lit, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Right. What was your thoughts when he he told you about it at first? No one's always been super thorough about um, just since he was little. He's always been so thorough about uh, making decisions and finding out details in great, you know, length. Mm -hmm. And so I knew when he brought it up to us, um, I knew he'd done a lot of thinking and for him to bring it up and the smile on his face just said, said it all. And so we just jumped in and we encouraged him and said, we're here. And yeah, as a mom, yeah, you worry. It's brain surgery. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of things that you don't know about, but um, I have a lot of faith in what uh, Nolan's decisions are. And um, yeah, we were just along for the ride and to see what Neuralink was about and just what he was gonna be able to do, the capabilities of his a little more independency. Um, that's all that he's ever wanted to do and to help others. I mean, all this was so fitting because it was just a package of that that he's always wanted to do since his um, injury.